Welcome to Taiji's Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make yakitori. So for those who have been to Japan or know a little bit of Japanese culture, Japanese food, uh, might have heard this word, yakitori. So yakitori, they look like this. Yakitori directly translate as grilled chicken. Yaki means to grill, tori means chicken. There are even restaurants that only serve yakitori. But of course, this includes not only chicken, but other vegetable or sometimes other meat, where all the ingredients are put on a skewer and grilled on charcoal. Today I'm going to show you one version that is very typical of yakitori, which is called negima, which is a combination of chicken thighs and scallion or green onion. And also I'm going to show you two variations of flavor, one only with salt and yuzuko shou, the third condiment that I show in the other video of Japanese seasonings, and two with teriyaki sauce. They're both very delicious and very easy, so I hope you give it a try. Then. Let's get started. Here are the ingredients for yakitori. Here I have a chicken thigh. So I'm also going to show you how to debone the chicken. So I usually measure about one leg for 200 to 250 gram of chicken meat. And I also have scallion. And then for the seasoning, I have soy sauce, sugar, salt. Here I also have spicy citrus paste, or also called yuzu kosho. This is a really great spicy condiment. If you don't have this, you don't need this, but I'm going to show you how you can eat with this. And if you want to know more about this yuzu kosho, then please check out my other video on Japanese seasonings right here. And today we're gonna to grill the chicken on skewers because it's yakitori style. But if you don't have skewers or if you don't wanna make it complicated, then you can of course make it without skewers. So let's debone the chicken. So whenever you're cutting meat or fish on a cutting board like this, a wooden or bamboo cutting board, then you always want to wet this first. Otherwise, all the smell or all the juice from the meat or the fish is going to sink in here and it's very hard to get rid of that. So I'm gonna wet the cutting board first. And of course you don't want to have it totally wet, so you want to take away the excess water. So whenever I debone the chicken leg, I usually start with separating the top and the bottom because it makes it so much easier, I think. So you want to try to first find the joint. So the joint is a little bit above where this bends. And when you touch this with your finger, you'll kind of know where you can have a little dent here. And then you just want to cut it through here. So here's the joint, a little bit above this where it bends. The bottom part is very easy. It doesn't matter where you start. Make a cut through in the middle like this. And then you go on the bottom part all the way around so that it's much easier to cut the skin on the surface like this. And then you cut alongside this bone like this. Like so, and then you have the bottom part of the chicken leg. So here you want to kind of know where the bones are, and then what you want to do is you want to make an incision here, like this, and then cut through here, like so. And then here it goes kind of inside, so you want to make sure you get that meat out. Like so, and then here alongside the leg bone, you want to make sure you kind of go alongside that here, like so, round. And then you kind of curve around the bone here, like this. And if you don't want excess fat, you can take this fat off. And then here, I think this is the ligament from the knee joint. I'm sorry if I'm wrong, you want to get rid of this part. So, and then here you have the debone thigh meat. And don't throw these away. You can make really good soup out of this. I'm gonna make another video on that. Then let's cut these up to put on skewers. So I'm just gonna cut into kind of bite-sized pieces, like so, like about the same size. Then let's prepare the scallions. So for this dish, you want to try to find the scallion that is as thick as possible. So about the size of your fingers, when possible. And of course you can make it with small scallion, but it's just going to be difficult to put in skewers. So I'm going to take the bottom off. And then we're going to cut into like four or five centimeter, like so. Okay. So let's put these on skewers. So what I try to do is I go through the skin and then just put one of these. I also want to try not to waste these green parts. So I put a couple of those and then another meat. 
like this. Also some of the scallion and then also another meat. Like this. So let's make more of these. So today I'm going to show you the two variations of yakitori. One I'm just going to season it very lightly with salt. And for the other one I'm going to make the tare or the sauce. The tare or the sauce for the yakitori is very simple. It's pretty much the same as the teriyaki sauce. I'm going to mix one to one ratio of sugar and soy sauce. So for this amount I'd say two tablespoons of sugar and two tablespoons of soy sauce. So we're gonna wait until that dissolves. So let's grill the chicken. So in here, I'm gonna grill the chicken with the salt. And here, I'm gonna grill the chicken with the yakitori sauce. So I'm gonna turn the heat to medium and heat the frying pan. So the key to this is not grilling with high heat. So you wanna make sure that you don't burn them and have the inside still raw. And today I'm using frying pan, but if you have an oven, then you can of course grill them in an oven that may go a little bit better because you can grill them from all sides. And then in the frying pan, I'm gonna put a little bit of frying oil. Today I didn't have frying oil, so I'm gonna use sesame oil, but you can use any frying oil for this. And then put the chicken on the frying pan. We're gonna grill like this each side about five minutes. So let's see the other side. Oh, it's looking really good. So I'm gonna turn over. See here, here as well. So this is looking really good. This is almost finished. I'm gonna flip to the other side. And then here, I'm gonna put in the tare. I'm gonna take away the excess fat with a little kitchen paper. Like this. And then here, I'm gonna put in this tare. So, this is finished. Oh, this is looking great. I'm gonna put this on a plate, turn the heat off. I'm gonna cook this a little bit so the tare sauce will be a little bit thicker. And this is finished. I'm gonna put the tare sauce over it. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. So I'm gonna put this spicy citrus paste or the yuzu kosho on the salt. Just a tiny bit, like so. And this is finished, let's eat. Oh, this smells so good. Let's eat. Itadakimasu. Oh, this is looking so good. Let's eat. Itadakimasu. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, this sauce is amazing. I'm gonna get a little more tale on there. Hmm. Oh, this is just totally great combination. Scallion, the chicken meat, and the sauce is amazing. Hmm. 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 So good. Oh, and this is also so perfect to go with rice. Hmm. 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 Then let's eat the one with salt and this. Use the kosho. Hmm. Hmm. This is also great. So this spiciness is really very, very fine when compared to like curry or like chili sauce. Those have like a really big punch. But this, this is just a little hint, very small kick. And at the same time, adds savoriness to the flavor. Mm. And this is also great to go with rice. Mm. Mm. So delicious, so savory. No more sauce into it. Mm. 
Oh, this is so delicious. So great. They go just hand in hand. So scallion gets so very sweet when it gets heated. And the sweetness matches so well with the chicken meat. The last piece. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, so delicious. Gosozanました. Oh, that was totally delicious. So as you saw, making yakitori is really easy. You just need to cut up the chicken, and if you can't get a hold of the boneless chicken, then it's much easier. And of course, you don't have to make two different kinds of flavor. I never do that for myself. I just wanted to show you guys different variations. And also, uh, when I make it for myself, I barely put it on a skewer, because it's just extra work. So in Japan, we put the yakitori on a skewer so that it can be grilled easily on charcoal. But if you make it for yourself at home, you really don't need to put it on a skewer and just grill them on a frying pan as it is. I hope this video was informative for you. I hope it gave you some ideas for your cooking and if you like what you saw please hit that like button and I'm always always happy to hear your comments. Then I look forward to see you in the next video. Bye!